Rev up your engines! It's time for your mechanic car tips. Today I'm going to show you how to properly jump start a car. Now the first thing you have to realize, you want good jumper cables. These are thick copper jumper cables. Don't buy those cheap thin aluminum ones, they'll often even melt. Then you take the positive end of one cable, put it on the positive end of the donor battery. Then get the other end of the positive cable, stick it on the positive cable of the car that's dead. So these two are now connected. Then take the other jumper cable, the negative cable, and put it on the negative battery terminal of the donor car. Then take the other negative terminal of the jumper cable and stick it on a nice solid metal part of the car. Now you don't want to connect it to the negative terminal of the battery for one reason. Sometimes you'll get a little spark and if there's any hydrogen gas it can actually cause an explosion. It's rare but it can happen. And you can just start up the car with a dead battery. But if the car doesn't start right away, here's a trick for a really dead battery. Start up the donor car, then let it run for say 5 or 10 minutes. That helps charge up the dead battery so it'll start easier. But here's something very important to remember if you do that. Shut off the donor car before you try starting the car that doesn't start because if you don't, you can have two alternators running against each other and burn out all kind of electronics. So once you shut off the donor car and you get your cat out of the way, then you start up the dead car. And just remember, it's very important to put positive on positive and negative on negative. The positive always has either a plus here, there's a plus here, and the battery itself normally has a plus mark on it too. Because if you jump start a car backwards, you're going to fry all kinds of expensive computer equipment. Make sure you hook it up in the right direction. And if you're worried about hooking it up backwards, you might try one of these cute little booster packs. They often work fine and they're set up so you can't hook them up backwards. Because if you do like we are right now, notice there's a cute red warning light here that warns you you hooked it up backwards. And since you haven't pushed the button to turn it on, it doesn't do any damage then. And this device you can connect directly to the positive and negative terminals of the battery because there's no power in it to make sparks until you push the button. So you push the clamps on, then you push the button, and there's no sparks so you don't have to worry about explosions. Quite a few of my customers have bought these little boosting devices and they work quite fine. You stick them in the trunk of your car, then you never get stranded. You don't have to wait for somebody to come boost you. You got your own boost in the trunk. So now you know how to properly jump start a car. And remember, if you want your car repaired at your home or office, check out yourmechanic.com.